Salt and Straws, the great candy copia. All right, happy early Halloween. If you're familiar at all with Salt and Straw, you're probably familiar with the great candy copia, this Halloween themed flavor. However, I have a confession. This is the 2019 version. Yes, my stash is that deep. It's getting hard to keep up with so many different brands and companies now shipping. But since it's back for the month of October, I figured out, I figured why not give you my thoughts so you know whether to buy it or not before, in, before the end of the month. But the 2020 version is slightly different than this 2019 version. So I'll give you the main points, this very minimal difference, not enough for you to persuade you either way. So you'll get a great review off of this. The 2019 version, what I'm scooping right now is butterscotch ice cream with four candy bars. That's Reese's Cups, Snickers, Heath Bar, and what was the other one? Oh, Twix. Duh, one of my favorites. The 2020 version is the same butterscotch base. It's the same Reese's, it's the same Snickers, it's the same Twix, but they put bourbon pecan toffee in the 2020 version. Now I know I've already rambled some, but I'm gonna to try to keep this short sweet because if you're eating this salt and straw ice cream, you've had all four of these mainstream candy bars. And keep in mind, I'm going to call them by their brand names, Snickers, Reese's, Twix, Heath Bar, as I already have, but Salt and Straw has made every single one, and I mean every one of these, from scratch. With that said, let's hit the highlights of each one of these mix-ins. We're gonna start with arguably the greatest candy bar of all time, and that's a Reese's. Beautiful milk chocolate and salty, that's key, salty peanut butter flavor. And they're so soft, they just melt, melt away in your mouth. Next is the Heath Bar. And it has a slightly burnt, but mainly nutty flavor. And along with that, it has a fantastic stick to your teeth, crispy crunch. After Reese's Cups, my 2A and 2B is Snickers and Twix. So I have three of my favorite candy bars in this one pint. And what I enjoy most about the Snickers is the thick nougat feeling along with the crunchiness of the peanuts. The caramel is a nice touch, but that mainly shines in the Twix, which is very buttery and also sweet. And to piggyback off of that, it also has a dense and gooey consistency that's reminiscent of a swirl. And would you believe that after all that, there is a valid argument that that's not even the best part of the pint. It's actually the butterscotch base. And I truly believe that. So imagine a caramel, but mix that with a very browned butter and also molasses. Now don't think like those uh, butterscotch disc candies. This is mixed with a lot of cream. So it's more subtle and it makes for a very enjoyable background for those mix-ins we just talked about. This one's pretty cut and dry. It's all of your favorite candies, house-made candies at that, mixed into a very, very good butterscotch base. Maybe just the best butterscotch base I've ever scooped. Nine out of 10.